Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a collective fashion haul. The stuff that I've bought recently for the past few months. But anyways, first off, let's just jump right into it because it might drag on. And the first thing I have to show you, these few things, is going to be accessories first. And the first thing I have to show you is a bag. This is what it looks like. Um, it's from a store in Bankstown called Bexa. It's in a brown colour. I thought that um, at the store the colour looks lighter than this. Because when they gave me this, it's all like wrapped up in plastic packaging and everything. And a soft material. But um, this is the colour. I think because in the store, it's out in the open it's been touched and used and the air changes the color which I like that color more than this this looks like a tan color and um, at first I didn't like this bag well I did like it when I saw it at the store I didn't like it when I came home and saw it because um, the color is just not what I thought it would be but I think after using it for a while the color will change it has this um, buckle detail on the side it's a strap bag and it has this little detailing thing that string that wraps over to this side and it also has a clasp on the inside so inside there's no pockets either there's nothing i can attach my keys to there's no little pockets that i can put my stuff in that i can find easily um you do get an extra pair of straps i don't know how this works but i like the way this color is now you also get um this pouch in there as well you can use it or if you don't want to use it you don't have to use it you get an extra strap so i think that strap is for this so they give you a lot of straps and this big ass um pouch thing and it's just very hollow inside as you can see it's very big and spacious so the next um, items i have are just sunglasses i bought from retro city sunglasses i saw this on instagram and i went on their website and i bought from them but these are very affordable like um altogether in US dollar it cost 55 47 but I think when you convert it to the Australian dollar I think it cost me about like 70 something dollars so this is the first pair of glasses it has a blue purplish uh, mirror design lens and it has a silver line across there this kind of reminds me of the Dior sunglasses so this one really catched my eye it's very different I don't think it suits me but I just got it anyway and this is what it looks like so because I'm going to Boracay next year, that's why I decided to buy a bunch of sunglasses which are affordable and if they break, if they get dirty, I don't mind because they were very affordable and they're not expensive. I don't really suit aviators but the pairs that I have is from Louis Vuitton and those are the unisex one and they're really big lenses so they suit me and I wear it all the time but I saw this on Instagram. I really like the colour of it. Um, the girl that wore it on the Instagram photo, like it really looks good on her so that's why I bought it. My sister, again, said it doesn't suit me. Like, I think they think it's too big on my head. But um, this will be really great for Barakai because the colour stands out and I have blonde hair. So it makes the sunglasses, like, stand out even more and I really like it. Uh, These next three sunglasses um, I also bought from Retro City. Uh, they kind of remind me of the sunglasses that Kim Kardashian always wears. There's really black big ones around her head and so these ones I don't know I like it but um, it seems like it's too big for my face like my face is very long but when I wore this I feel like it's too big but this is the ones that I've been wearing um, all day yesterday and today and I really like it it's kind of grown on me so this is what it's called I think it's called flat top Monica it's straight here and then it just curves down the bottom and it's kind of um, how do you call it uh, gradient effect with light here and then it turns dark i kind of noticed that a lot of stores kind of have similar sunglasses like i don't know if they buy from the same manufacturers but a lot of stores are coming out with the same designs and they kind of look similar but these ones kind of look too big for me i think it looks good if i tie my hair up and wear it like that see i also have the same one in the brown this is what it looks like from the front from the side it looks like this it has a gold little detailing here which i do like because it doesn't make it look ordinary this is from cotton on body uh i bought this a while ago and i've only worn this once it's a beanie with uh cat ears on it and it's white i have black hair then so this really stood out on my head i don't know if it still suits out with blonde hair but when i wore it my friend thinks it looks cute so this is what it looks like so um my head is kind of like funny with this so the ears are on the side I really like this. How cute are these? Yeah. Anyways, this thing I have here 
is from Chicken Booty. I've mentioned this store a few times. Um, I don't know. I was going to the city and eating my friend one time and it was really cold and um, I needed to bring a jacket. I didn't bring one but I ended up looking around and um, I just found things that I like. I ended up buying this um, cropped sweater jumper thing if you like to call it. So with this I like to wear a white t-shirt or something white and then it hangs loose at the bottom because it's cropped it shows at the bottom and um, I don't really have any open collar or peplum collar top actually I do so I could wear that with this so I really like that look with this cropped um, cropped uh, jumper sweater this is grey and it's very thin so I could wear this in spring when it's not too cold and not too hot well, the thing about it, it looks better, it was a bit tighter, but this is inside small, there wasn't any extra small. So this is a bit loose on me, but I don't mind because it doesn't make me look too big or too small. The second thing I have from Chicka Beauty is this black skirt. It's a midi skirt. I have another black midi skirt from um, Forever 21, but that one is ripped and I feel, not ripped, but ribbed. And, and I feel like that skirt is more for formal wear and going out, it's not casual. So I found this skirt and it's more casual, but you can also wear it for... Um, when you go out night time as well it's midi it's black and also it's ribbed not ribbed it's scrunched up on the side so it makes your butt look bigger i really like this it's very wrinkly so um it doesn't look bad when you're on these items i bought was online on ozzell and this is from the brand Avaha, avahana i can't pronounce it i got these high-waisted um faux leather shorts so I really do like the look of the shorts, I like the colour, the style and the side pockets. The th one thing I hate about it is when you wear it and do you have a bloated stomach or your stomach is bigger. Um, the top button tends to undo itself which I really hate because every time I do it up it will undo itself. So I haven't really worn this out yet. I'm waiting for it to get a bit hotter for me to wear that. And that's the one thing. The second thing I bought is this Faux Leather uh, Wet Look Tights. I already have a pair. And I always wear this. If you look at my vlogs from Melbourne, I wore it a few times. And so that one is starting to um, lose its shape. Well, not really. It's starting to have some wear and tear. Like you can tell, it's a bit old. So I went and bought a new one. And this one is what it looks like. The last thing I bought from Avana is this dress. It's a high, high collar dress. So there's an open hole in the back. You can see that. The zipper is on the side. And there's also a button at the back to do itself up. It's in a nice navy colour and it's short but it's not that short. The next thing I have is from the glue store and one time when I went to the city we just went to look around and I found this hat. Um, I don't really buy much hats but this is from Braxton B-R-X-T-N and I really like it. I like the logo on the front. It's just simple and it's black and I think it looks funny like this I don't tend to suit hat because of my head shape but I like wearing it backwards but this hole is very big it looks funny when I wear the hat and I have a lot of um felt is it felt fedora kind of hats those are the types that I usually sell but this one off I just bought their snapback hat so the next things I have are from Tempt and as I said I went out that one night I didn't have a jacket it was cold and so I picked up this vest it's in a nice navy color it's very thin and um, you can wear it in spring with a long sleeve there's pockets on the side it's a bit cropped in the back and it scrunches up the other back to give it a tight look there's a hoodie which is not removable and you can wear this in spring when it's cold but not freezing cold but just cold at night which i really do like this vest i have a gray one from Conron, a puff vest jacket which i do like but i think it's too warm and too hot to wear in spring the next thing i have is this tempt poncho in um, a nice caramel color it's a brown caramel color i really like it this is very warm that time when i bought it i wore it the whole night and it's just like walking around the city with a blanket around myself but not really because no one really said anything, they looked at me, but they didn't really say anything, but as long as I'm warm. The next items I have to show you is from a store called Factory. I went past the store and I saw these shorts and they really caught my eye because I needed printed shorts for um, Boracay. Because it gets very hot there, like 30, 30 something degrees, which I'm going next year. And I needed shorts and usually one pair of shorts are $25, but they have a sale going on for two four dollars and these are the ones i picked out these ones are in navy and it has a nice white print 
on it. There's a stretchy waistband line and the shorts at the bottom has this little furry ball, I don't know, frayed edges. The next pair I got, and this one is in a size extra small instead of the small. I don't know, I think the extra small is a bit a tighter fit, whereas the small is a very loose fit. But this one's the extra small and it's in blue, black and white tribal print. It's not very really tribal print, but it kind of reminds me something of the Grecian Greek islands or something like that. But I'm going to Boracay. So this is the print and this is what it looks like. The last thing I bought from them is just a plate top and this is just a red, blue and white plate top which has buttons down the front and a front pocket as well. It's long sleeve, it's a very comfortable thin material, I really like this. Um, I could either wear it to open or tie it up on the front and, and I just bought this because I'm going to Big Bang's concert and I think I'm going to wear high waist shorts and I want to tie something around my waist so that when I'm jumping and dancing my ass cheeks are not sticking out the back. So yeah, that's why I bought it. The next items I have to show you is from a store called Hipster. There's one in Burwood and one in Pestfield, Westfield. But I ended up buying this nice, um, what material is this? I can't tell. It says it's made of polyester but it feels like suede. It's in a nice grey colour but it has a high neckline with strings all the way in the back. Um, this is the style lately. A lot of tops I see is they have a lot of strings tied and open back and everything so that's why I bought this. Another crop top I have here is also a high neckline. It's in white and at the bottom it has a lace detailing which I really do like but, but the lace detailing goes up high up the boobage area so that's why I can't wear a bra with it or else you can see it. You can, I ended up wearing nipple stickers with this so it looked a bit funny because I have no boobs. If you have big boobs, it's, this is good for you. Um, I just had my hair in the front covering my nipple stickers <laughs> because I don't have a bra that sits with this. In the back it crisscrosses and at the back there's also, and at the back it's also tied strings so that is what it looks like. This next top is another crop top as you can see I have a lot of crop tops. I tend to buy crop tops because it's getting hotter and this top I bought from a store in Hersfield. It's in the arcade and it's called Fevercast Hersfield. They have an Instagram account. This is the only thing I bought from Fevercast. It's a crop top and it's a crop bralette. It feels like suede as I said before but the material it says it is 100% polyester. Yeah 100% polyester. So this is in a size extra small because I have no boobs. That's why I went for the extra small. I wish I had big boobs but I don't so that's why I got the extra small and this is what it looks like. The last things I have to show you is from Glasson. I don't usually buy from this shop because their sizes run big so when I wear a size small it does not fit me so most of the clothes I have to get is a size 6. Sometimes I don't have size 6 and last time I bought a size small and it was too big. So at Glasson they have a 2 for something sale going on. It's not really on sale but I guess it kind of is. Um, I bought two t-shirts. Uh, I have a lot of white t-shirts, but some I don't like to fit me, some I do, some is big, some is small, some is see-through, but you can never have enough white t-shirts, and this one is 2 for 30, so, and I ended up getting a white t-shirt, this is what it looks like, I like the fit on me, it's not too big and it's not too small, and in the front there's just a small pocket there, I also have the same top in a black, so this is what it looks like, um, exactly the same thing. The other two things I bought from them is shorts and these were 2 for 50. The tops are in size extra small and these shorts are in a size 6. Usually I'm a size 8 or 9 in jeans and shorts but uh, because as I said their sizes run big I had to get the size 6 and these shorts are really good fit on me. I really like the size and the style on me. It makes my butt look big. I was having a toss up between the color white or the navy. I already have navy shorts so I ended up going for the white shorts. I'm scared that these shorts are going to get dirty, which they probably are, but I'll probably wash it. On the side, it has pockets on both sides. At the bottom, it's pulled up and it's just a zipper and a hook closure. The last thing I bought from them is this top, which is a cami that I'm wearing right now. I don't have boobs, so you can't see anything anyway. It's just a cami and yeah, this is what it looks like. The only thing I don't like about this top is it has a double lining for the top and on the bottom it doesn't. So you can see the line that colours there. It looks very funny but um, my sister said it's not noticeable. So I still ended up getting this top anyway. So that's all I have to show you guys. For